What happens when thousands of cyclists take over 30 miles of roadways typically open to cars? You'll see houses, you'll see animals, you'll see things, you'll see signs that you never saw and you're like, wait a minute, I've never seen that before and I've been on that road a thousand times. And so you just get a whole new perspective of the road when you're on your bike as opposed to a car. This is the seventh annual Great Scott Bike and Walk event, where for over seven hours on a Saturday, cyclists can pedal their way over some of the region's most scenic hillsides, offering beautiful views of the countryside without the dangers that cyclists often face. It's nice to get cyclists out here, whether you're an enthusiast or you're an advanced level rider, just to get out and ride together as a group. Also to make more awareness for cars and, and riders, because we all need to share the road together. For more than 100 avid riders with the Cycle Folsom team, it's a chance to share their sport with the community. It's encouraged to ride your bike and get off, get out of your cars, whether it's for errands or uh, you know trips to the store, exercise, whatever you want to do. For us as our club, we use it as a way to turn our, our club members into rabid cyclers. And for those who don't bike regularly, it's a chance to see what they might be missing the rest of the year. I run more, I don't really bike that much, so I think this is really nice for non-cyclists too. While these roads are only closed to vehicles for the day, event organizers hope it inspires more people to ditch their cars and enjoy the many miles of trails available in our region year-round. In Sacramento County, Kristen Samos, KCRA 3 News.